Here's a comedy centric moment. The uh, with the um, oh my god, I'm so stupid. With Ben Stiller and um, or Jerry Stiller and Hel- uh, uh, Stiller and Mira. Are oh, you talking about the, the Yiddish the burial theater. society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. And so, did any of that influence uh, you? Like, because it, you were talking, like you were talking about a uh, society of actors that were supportive of each other and actually helped each other. Um, you know, with finances and that type of thing. You're speaking of the Yiddish Actors Union. Yeah, yeah. right. I didn't. That's you know, still in, in. No, sadly, I don't think it is. Um, what what you're talking about this this the play, the Burial Society, that was recorded by the amazing team of Stiller and Mira for NPR for a wonderful program called Playing on Air, that brings plays, uh, short plays, to the radio. And um, I was just so honored to have them. That play is part of an evening of short plays that I wrote called Under the Bed. And there are five short plays together in that. Uh, And the people who have performed it include some pretty amazing actors. Um, So it's, you know, it's it's been fun to have sections of it brought brought to life for for the radio. But um, that that particular play was inspired by a memorial service that I went to. And this is the first time I'm saying it in, out loud. Um, I was for the, wondering. <laughs> for, the, for the star of Crossing Delancey. I went to her, her memorial service. And there were the, actors. The Bobby character? Yeah. yeah and there okay. were, were actors from the Yiddish theater there that were the inspiration for Oh, that's very, that's an that important play. point. Yeah. 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 Well, I, mean, I was it, wondering, like, is this, based on some type of real life or something you've seen. Like everything good, you know, it comes from truth, right, Julia? Uh, I was, when I listening to it again today, I was thinking, boy, uh, some things never change. If you got a bunch of comedians together (laughs) at a funeral, it would, and and awake, you know, and then they have to give eulogies. They, they, it wouldn't be a, it would be a show. It'd be like, he, he did too much time. Is she, well, how, there's no women on this wake. I mean, come on, you know. Right, and that that was the vibe, and um, the the whole, you know, the generation of it. I did work when I was in when I was in college. I went to Boston University in the theater program. Um, I did a, a piece, a paper on Yiddish theater, and I visited this wonderful world. You know, this underground. It was like, you know, it was like the Algonquin for Yiddish actors. It was this very cool little clubhouse, and. Um, very theatrical people, you know, very, very full of themselves and very full of great stories and um, kind of, you know, that that's the world that I was looking at my favorite year the other day, which is one of my most movie. beautiful films. And, you love know, you, yeah, you see in that, you see in those characters, the size of that comedy is very much, mm-hmm. Yiddish, you know, based on the Yiddish theater, everything that Sid Caesar brought to it. Um, so I, I, I sent you guys a, a clip of the burial society do you want to share it with your audience yeah why don't uh, jimmy you got it racked up i'm assuming he's sending me telepathic messages that it is racket so let's uh, let's take a second and listen to the clip (laughs) tops five minutes they pull them off they go over five (laughs) that'll be the day you got yiddish actors in front of a live audience it's not a memorial service it's a matinee Come on, do me. All right, all right. Hmm. Ah, that's good. That's good. Now she'll get her star in front of the Second Avenue Deli. Of course. What else? For what? A hanger-on. All her life she's playing minor characters. And we're back. That was great. Thank you. I, I mean, what characters? And what, you know, what a incredible incredible yeah. joy to have been able to work with how, and how Mira and Jerry them? Stiller yeah. this was the producer of uh, this show who did that okay. and, um, what was the question know, I didn't hear what you said Kath how did she what how did how did how was how were they cast in it I mean I oh, I knew okay. them I knew them um, on Nantucket they were very very much royalty uh, on Nantucket and um, very active in the whole world of the Nantucket Film Festival, so I, I got to meet them there. But the you know the casting happened through Claudia Cantania, who is the producer of Playing on Air, which everybody should listen to. It's a great show. 